There are many kinds of brassica crops that we grow, including cabbage, bok choy, mustard, Chinese broccoli, collards, and arugula. Other important commercial crops are Asian herbs, such as moming, also known as wild spider flower or Asian pickling spice. One of our worst pests in brassica crops and some specialty herbs, such as moming, is the flea beetle. These are small, round, black beetles that look a little bit shiny and jump like a flea. Most of the flea beetles on brassicas are all black. Sometimes you will see another kind that is black with yellow stripes on its back. Flea beetles also fly. They fly from field to field and from plant to plant, looking for brassica plants to feed on. Flea beetles can find tiny seedlings as soon as they sprout and can do so much damage that the plants can't grow. Some brassicas, such as Chinese broccoli, cabbage, and collards have waxy leaves. They are more likely to have less feeding damage when they get bigger because the waxy leaves discourage feeding. Greens like mustard, bok choy, and Chinese cabbage can be damaged by flea beetle any time from planting until harvest. Flea beetles eat through the leaf and leave many small holes. When flea beetles feed on mustard leaves, each hole develops a reddish ring. Plants with a lot of holes will not sell well in most markets. Sometimes, as the plant grows, feeding holes grow bigger and look even worse. By using a combination of several management methods, growers can produce a healthy crop. To do this, it helps to understand the life cycle of the insects, where they spend their winter, how they reproduce, and what time of year they do the worst damage. The adult flea beetle spends its winters at the edge of the field, in weeds and leaves under the shrubs and trees that are near last year's crops. Those beetles start moving around as soon as the weather turns warm in the spring. They feed on weed brassicas, such as yellow rocket weeds, at the edge of the field. They find the first brassica seedlings that come up when we plant brassica crops in the same field as last year, we make it easy for flea beetles to find our spring crops. If we plant in a field that is far away from last year's brassica crops, it will take them longer to find our spring crops. Any distance away is better than none. Further away, separated by woods, roads, or other barriers is best. Crops planted in May and June get a lot of beetle feeding. Flea beetles lay their eggs in the soil near the brassica roots. When the eggs hatch, the tiny white larvae feed on the roots. Larvae are also sometimes called grubs. It's very difficult to see them because they are very small in the soil. They may also hurt crop growth. Once larvae are full grown, they become pupae in the soil. After a couple of weeks, the pupae become adults. They come up out of the soil and look for food. These new summer adults usually start to emerge in late July. In late July and August, new adult beetles can cause a lot of damage to late brassicas. Adults feed until early September, then leave the fields to spend the winter in the leaves and debris around the fields. Crops planted in September or later tend to have very little flea beetle damage. When we plant brassicas all season long from May to September, we are giving flea beetles their favorite place to feed and reproduce. After a year or two, the farm has a huge number of flea beetles. If we want to grow these crops, we have to take action. One way to have less damage is to plant spring crops far away from last year's crops. This can be hard to do on a small farm or in a community garden. However, if your farm has several separate fields, rotate brassica crops from one field to the other. Another way to get rid of beetles is not to plant brassica crops on your farm until mid or late July. During the spring, you starve the beetles by not giving them food and grow only non-brassica greens, such as lettuce, chard, and spinach. If you plant brassicas in late July and August, but close to the spring brassica crops, flea beetle damage is going to be severe because the new adult flea beetles will find them easily. One very successful way to prevent damage is to cover crops 
with row covers. They are sometimes called floating row covers because they are lightweight and can lie right over the top of the plants without hurting them. Or you can put the cover over wire hoops to keep it above the canopy. Cover your crops as soon as they germinate or are planted in the field. Seal the edges well so the beetles cannot get in. Crops grow faster under the row cover, and so do weeds. You will have to take the cover off to weed. Make sure you put it back the same day so that beetles do not get under the cover. Keep the crop covered until it is ready for harvest. The row cover can be purchased at garden centers or supply stores. It can last two to three seasons if you store it in a dry place out of direct sunlight. Row cover is less expensive if you buy a large quantity. Several farmers can get together and buy as a group. Row covers can come in different widths. Choose a width that best fits your needs. Row covers come in light, medium, and heavy weights. Medium and heavy weight covers hold in heat, which is good in spring and fall. They also last longer without tearing. Light covers are better for midsummer. Another way to keep beetle numbers down is to till under any brassicas that bolt or are past harvest age. Think of these as beetle nurseries that will produce hundreds of new flea beetles. If you plant new crops nearby, they will be attacked by those beetles. Under the soil are lots of young larvae and pupae. Cultivate a rototill to churn up the soil and kill these larvae before they can become adults. Sometimes we need to use a pesticide to kill the adult beetles. Make sure that the pesticide label lists the crops on it. Farmers should also make sure that the insecticide is suitable for agricultural use, has the agricultural use restriction box on it. Mix the right amount for the area you want to treat. If you are an organic farmer or gardener, you must use a material that is allowed for organic farmers. This may include an insecticide called Entrust. If you are not an organic farmer or gardener, you can select from several other products. These include Seven and Spintor. Make sure to wear protective gear and keep your family and workers out of the field until it is safe to return. If you use Seven, you may not harvest the crop for two weeks after spraying. If you use Entrust or Spintor, you may harvest within one day. A different species of flea beetle attacks crops such as eggplant, potato, and tomato, and causes holes in leaves. They look the same to our eyes, small and black. Crucifer flea beetles don't feed on eggplants, and eggplant flea beetles don't feed on brassicas. However, the damage is very similar.